Okay, here's another example of introduction to variables. What we're going to add is we're going to add a little function to the play here that makes it cost money to fire an arrow. So right now you have object player and you have when they're created. We gave them money. I'm just going to use the money just because it's there already set up for us. And uh, you know when you pick up the coins and the gold, they get some money. We want to make it so every time they fire, costs them a little money. And if they're out of money, no firing. And we don't want to let their money go down into the negative. So here we go. Right now, every time they pick up the money, we know their money goes up. What I want to do is every time they fire, which is inside the space bar, I don't want to do all that every single time. What I want to do is I want to ask the question first. I want to know, do they have enough money to fire? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend it costs two, two dollars or two coins to fire. And then I can basically change the code to look a little like this. Before I do all this firing, I'm going to ask a quick question. So as soon as that space bar is hit, I'm going to ask if their money is greater or equal, whoops, there's greater or equal to two, then they're allowed to fire. They have enough money. Now you'll also notice that I indent my code here. You'll sort of notice the style that I use. It, you'll see it's a lot easier to read the if statements when we start using more of them. If your code, every time you go inside a block of code with a curly brace, you indent the code a little bit. It makes it very easy to see that this chunk of code belongs to this if statement. If you start coding everything flat against the screen here, the edge of the screen, what you end up getting is you end up getting code that's very, very difficult to read. You can look online, you can see other styles people use, but this is a very common one. So if the money is greater than two, you're allowed to fire. Now, if I run this now, it should work. I'm hitting the space bar. You just have to trust me. No firing. One coin? No, not good enough. Two? Now I can fire again. So that's nice. But you notice firing is not costing me anything. So let's just go back and sneak that in there. So, greater than two, fire. Play sound, and money equals money minus two. Okay, now this should make it so my money drops every time I fire. Pick up a coin, fire, and I'm hitting the space bar, no more firing. So that makes it a little hard. At least we got these guys here. Later on, we'll make it so the ghosts can drop money off. That'll float our way. And uh, that way you shoot enough ghosts, you get some money back to buy your arrows and fire. Okay, so that's one nice use of variables.